This is breakfast time at the Ronald McDonald House in New Hyde Park. It's a loving refuge for 42 families with kids being treated for serious illnesses at Cohen Children's Hospital next door. It's a blessing because I'm able to go see my son whenever I want. And it also gives me a comfort of a home away from home, you can see. Home for families and mothers like Bianca Agron, who last month delivered by C-section a 30-week preemie named Grayson. He's still in the neonatal critical care unit nearby, and Bianca, recovering herself from a difficult delivery, sees the little one several times a day. I'm able to take care of myself and him and also have a bed and a place to stay and feel comfortable. It's so much better than sitting in a waiting room 24-7 when you can at least come back here, have a cup of coffee, sit down. Teresa says it took more than $10 million of Friendsgiving, as she calls it, not fundraising, to get this house up and running. And now she wants to build a Ronald McDonald house in Suffolk County. That is my dream. If anything were to come from this interview, it would be that we were able to raise all of the money that we need to get that house open. We've raised 80% of our $30 million goal, so we're at $24 million, um, but we still need to raise $6 million to get the building built. Teresa is celebrating 40 years of service and raising funds for Ronald McDonald House. Since 1983, she's helped raise millions of dollars to make this place, and eventually the house in Suffolk, a home for families caring for their hospitalized kids. If this wasn't something I believed in with my entire soul and heart, I would never be here this long. To donate, Teresa says go to rmhcny.org and click the red Donate button. Drew Scott for Newsday TV.